So I want to show this bike rack to you guys. If you have a spare tire on the back of your vehicle and you want to still be able to open your tailgate, this could be the perfect solution for you. It's not super expensive. You're not going to be spending like $1,000 on a bike rack. This video is not sponsored, but I will have a link in the description if you want to purchase one. It holds three bikes. It's worked out great for me for the last three months. So I'm going to take this little bit of time, show you this great bike rack, and I'll show you some of the bike racks that didn't work out for me. And also uh, I'll show you exactly how to use this one and why I think it's really well thought out and really clever design. If you need a bike rack, stick around. This will help you out. So I wanted to show you guys how easy it is to use this bike rack. And it's really a simple process. I got it set up just the right way. It sits on there, then you hook these two straps onto your bumper. And your bumper isn't probably going to be the same as mine. I've got an ARB bumper I put on after I bought this Jeep. So now that the two hooks are on my bumper, these two straps tighten up like that. And now the bike rack won't come off. It's on there real solid. And I'll just take the ends and loop them around, tie them off so they're not dragging around, getting in the way of anything. And now if you wanted to open your tailgate, all you do is let these straps loose. Then you can swing open your tailgate. And that includes when you have a bicycle on here. That's it, it's on there now. Tighten a couple straps. That holds it on, adjust it up. Doesn't need to be as that high of an angle. And now I'm ready to throw a bicycle on this bike rack. I'm going to show you how easy it is to load the bicycles on here. I'm gonna to try to load one bicycle a little different way and see if that works out. But before I do that, let me give you a close up shot of some of the parts that actually up here, these blocks and these rubber straps that actually hold the bicycle on. So one of the things I think is really clever about this bike rack is it has a swing down clamp and it also has a standard rubber block with a strap. So this swing down, I'll show you when I have the bicycle on here, the swing down will actually stop the bike from swinging around when it's on the bike. It's always a problem with bike racks. The bicycles want to swing around on, when they're on back there. I took and I moved, the rack comes with three of this type and three of this standard type rubber block. I moved two of them to the front position where I carry my bike. I usually only carry one bike, but today I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna put two bikes on here and I'm gonna show you how it carries two bikes. But that is one of the things I think is pretty clever about this bike rack. I've got a couple different straps on here. If you notice, I lost a strap or two already, my carelessness. So I had some old straps from other bike racks I put on here. It comes with these right here. Let me grab a bike now and show you just how I mount a bike here. I'm gonna try mounting a bike a little differently than I usually do. So normally, when I put a bicycle on the bike rack, I use one of these frame adapters. This thing is adjustable, slides in and out. Um, it hooks to the handlebar. I'll show you this after. But um, I have a couple different types of bikes. Uh, you know, mountain bikes these days have a lot of crazy shapes on the bars and different spaces in between. So you need a frame adapter. I have a different style bike. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to use this, uh, put this bike on the bike rack without using a frame adapter. Let me see how that works. I have, I've always used the frame adapter. Let me try it the other way. This is my gravel bike. And let's see how this is gonna work. Okay, great. It's gonna go right on here. Let's see. Now, I can turn these rubber blocks. In this case, it looks like I need to turn this rubber block to make this bike fit on. So there's a lot of adjustment in this bike rack that allows you to fit different bicycles. Let's see if that, okay, perfect. Now, like I said, I moved two of these to give this lateral stability, let's call it, and I'll put them on. I moved two of them to the back. So I'll go ahead and hook these up. That's two points of attachment and then the standard attachments are up here. So this bike, I don't need a frame adapter to put it on. It's your more standard horizontal top tube bicycle. Perfect, it goes right on there. So I learned something new about my own bike. I know I don't need to have a frame adapter. It holds it up there real nice. So now I've got my mountain bike set up with a frame adapter. Let's grab that and put this on. So I've never carried any more than one bike. So this will be the first time I'm ever putting more than one bike on here. I don't know if you guys could see it, but if you can see that thing hanging up there, that's my GoPro. Just trying to see if I get any additional shots that can help out with the video. Now I'm gonna try putting my mountain bike on here. And with the mountain bike, I'm gonna use a frame adapter. Okay, piece of cake. Now the one thing I could do, I could see, is I could turn one of these rubber deals this way and I might like that better. I'm gonna turn that one like that. Let's see how that works out. It's a tighter fit. It works out great. And this bike, 
I carry around a lot. I've carried the other bike one time. This bike is my Linsky uh, Livewire. Built this bike myself, but there'll be a link up in the, oh, it should be overhead that shows you how I built this. If, if you're curious about building a bike or building a titanium bike, there's some special things you need to do. But I used the, uh, I did, I used the frame adapter and I didn't have to do it on the uh, gravel bike. Now, this, this is not the strap that came with this bike rack, but it works. It's from an old bike rack. Using my other strap here, three points of contact here. So great, I'm on there great. Um, with a little weight on the bike rack, it actually will, will hold the, the rack on a little even better. It bounces around a little, that's okay. If it's too stiff, then everything's gonna take a beating while you're driving. Okay, so now I'll show you exactly another clever thing about this bike rack. I can still open my tailgate with the bicycles mounted and the bike rack on here. And I'll show you how you do that. You just loosen these straps down here so I can reach around the bikes I got plenty of room to reach around here. I can loosen these two straps. I get one from each side. Now, swing it right open. Now I can get inside my tailgate. I grabbed the tape measure. Now we'll see how wide this bike rack will actually, how wide a tire this bike rack will actually accommodate. So I'm looking from this point here, where this bracket comes down. I'm looking over, and I'm looking at about 10 inches. Let's call it 10 inches. 10 inches is the maximum width between the third brake light and the spare tire that I'm going to be able to use this. The minimum, there's three adjustment points here. So I can get, they, they each are one inch apart. So I can go from 10 to 9 to 8 and that'll still hug the tire. So that should accommodate a very wide range of spare tires. So now let's move on and I will show you the next part of this video, which I can't think about what it is right now. I will go ahead and close the tailgate, tighten the bike rack back up, show you how easy that is. So I'm going to make sure my hooks are spread out where I want them on my bumper. I'm just going to close the gate. I'm going to reach over here, tighten one strap, tighten two straps. So there you have it. I was able to access my tailgate with the bicycles mounted on the, on the rack. And that's pretty cool. And now I'm going to show you how easy it is to get these bicycles off. You get to where you're getting ready to ride, they come off real easy. All it is, a couple straps. And I've been driving all around. I, I drive 50 miles to go ride some places. I drive over Highway 17 to Santa Cruz, which is a real twisty road. I haven't had any problem at all. I got my mountain bike off, now my gravel bike. I had seen Jeeps with bike racks hanging off the spare tire before, and I just thought it was a lame way to carry a bike. Now that I got the Malone spare tire three bike rack, I understand that it works very well. This is my old bike rack. Uh, a friend gave it to me. It's so long, it just stuck out so far. Although it cleared the spare tire, it cleared it that and then more. And it cleared it so far, it would stick out. I couldn't park anywhere with this thing. So that became a problem. It did hold the bike real well though, but it just stuck out so far, I couldn't park. Uh, the bike rack would be sticking out all over the place. This one here was an old one I had for over 20 years. I actually didn't want to have that much weight hanging off the back of the Jeep all the time and it would have stuck out too far. So to use it, I took the spare tire off. And I had the spare tire inside the Jeep, which was just a total pain in the butt. I had to put the seats down, strap the tire in so it didn't kill me if I had to slam the brakes on. Uh, didn't work out well. I finally got sick of that. I actually had no bike rack and I would take the bike apart, stick it inside the Jeep. So you gotta make sure your Jeep doesn't have anything in it so you can fit the bike in there. Anyhow, this, this uh, Malone three bike uh, spare tire rack has really solved a lot of problems for me. And it just made it much easier to go bike riding, much more pleasurable to get up in the morning instead of having to lug one of these heavy metal bike racks over. I open my tailgate and take the, uh, take the Malone spare tire rack out and pop it on like I showed you. And it's real quick and easy. So thanks for watching. I hope you know a little bit more about this Malone three bike bike rack. If you want to buy one, like I said I have the link down below. I'm not sponsored. Now I have to make a big decision. It's finally, the sun's finally shining here and I need to get out and ride my bike, but I got to make a big decision. Am I going to ride the gravel bike or am I going to ride the mountain bike? If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment with your question, please hit that subscribe button and give me a like. Really helps with the algorithm, helps to grow the channel. 
and it lets me know that I, you appreciate the work I'm doing here. But thank you very much. I'll see you on the next one. And don't forget, the best is yet to come.